Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BitLearn again. Hi and welcome to a new video of my tutorial series Angst Free Form Secrets. And as you can see on my screen, I am going to continue a new tiny series of tutorials. I'm going to show you how to create this mask. And you can see in the part navigator, it's a few commands required, a few things you're going to learn. And of course, also here, I'm not going to do it all within one video. I'm going to do a tiny series of videos and first of all, start with the import of my STL or OBJ file. Why am I using an exported file therefore? It's about the outline here. Of course, you can create sketches, one from the front and another one from the side and create your first prototype and you will find out it doesn't fit that well. But what I did, I have scanned my own head and I don't have to prototype this outline because I have a scan of my head and it's gonna fit. That's the reason why I did it. And I also wanted to show up how to use STL or OBJ or any other kind of file format to create an associative construction concerning this outline because my intent was to afterwards replace the head by as you can see a different head and just do it automatically just by replacing without any corrections required and your overall construction will update automatically which is pretty cool that's our target in this tutorial as you can see i don't have a filter system yet just because i wanted to focus on the freeform shape of course we can do a filter system afterwards but I think the freeform shape will take its time. So let's focus on this and afterwards think about the filter system. Today it's about importing files and which kind of file format we have to import, where we can find the files and how we can scale and position it. I am using the latest version of Siemens NX. You can say I'm up to date and it's something like 1919. But even in, for example, NX10, you can reproduce this tutorial, but there's a slightly difference. You don't have convergent modeling available. What does convergent modeling mean? Meaning if you import STL, you usually don't have an entry within the part navigator because it's a facet body which don't have a feature relation and it's not listed within your timestamp order. But if you disable timestamp order, you can see the facet body. But anyway, it is not possible to, for example, unite it or create a trim, however, which is possible by using conversion modeling. But what you can do is creating, and that's what we are going to do in this tutorial, is creating a fit curve, for example, that's what we need. And you can also scale it, but you cannot use the scale body. You have to use transform instead, which I was searching here and you can see it's somewhere located in the menu, transform scale. And for the positioning of this hat, you can use the standard move object command, control and T move object. You can select facets as well. No problem. That's the only difference between NX10 and the latest version of NX. So everybody can participate here. And if you still have an issue because you're using an older version, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can solve it. However, what kind of hat am I using here? I bought this one. I paid $9 for that. This was my first run. And afterwards I've decided to use open source hats. You can find a bunch of open source hats via Google search for example, on grabcat.com to download for free. But I've decided to scan my own head and you can see this is a really rough scan, which you can see here. This was my first run. And in the second run, I got this result of my own head, which I am going to link in the description below and which I'm going to use for this tutorial series. I was using Meshroom, by the way which allows me to just import photos to create a 3D scan. And afterwards I was using Blender and both software are for free. They're open source. You won't have a license issue. And I've used Blender just to smooth out my surfaces. For this design, I'm going to create a new file and import some fresh external file formats. You can use OBJ STL step. However, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to import STL. It's convergent 
and this is the default here if you reset its conversion always and the difference between conversion and annex or jt is that convergent allows you to get an entry within the part navigator and to use some standard operation to modify this if not you don't have it listed here and you don't have all the possibilities the only thing i'm going to use which is concerning conversion modeling is the scale body command and that's what i'm going to show you in this video we are going to scale this and position this i think it makes sense to position first of all the position is important because of the replacement if you have the position somewhere in your head and you're going to replace it by a new head and the nose is for example here it don't really make sense because the construction will fail so we have to search for a position that makes sense and i think it's the middle of the mouth which we can use and i'm going to use my move object command therefore which can be opened by Control and t move object can be used in older versions related to facet bodies as well so it don't have to be convergent to move a facet body and i'm going to use move handles first of all i want to move this handle to the center of my mouth and therefore i'm going to select this center point and make sure that i have point on face enabled and if you are working with a facet body a annex facet or stl facet however you can use this one point on facet vertex if it's convergent you can use point on face as well that's approximately my center i think that's okay and now i'm going to move my handle without move handles only so i'm going to move the overall object and the question is now what kind of settings do we need of course you can use associative if you're using nx facet it can't be associative of course but it's not required so i'm just gonna do this movement once and there's no associativity required so i'm gonna leave it as it is move parents is fine and i'm gonna move it to my origin well you can use your keyboard as well and the tab button to type in your zero value three times and i'm gonna apply this and we also need a rotation and it really makes sense not to do it at once to do it separately so i'm gonna rotate it now a rotation here is not required but if you have a look at the front it's slightly misaligned so i'm gonna rotate it approximately to match the center of my eye and I'm going to use this handle, but I forgot something. I forgot to select my object. So, and after selecting the object, you can see the position of your handle switches, which don't make sense. So I'm going to move my handle again like this. So that's another possibility to do drag and drop, but I just wanted to avoid to somehow snap to one of these face points, but it worked pretty fine doing drag and drop as well. And I'm going to disable this and rotate it. You don't have to be perfect, especially because there is no head in the overall world which is symmetric or perfect. So I'm going to leave it as it is now. The center is approximately the center of my mouth and nose. Could be a little bit more here. And that was a mistake. I shouldn't have moved this. And you can see I've moved just one millimeter. And you can imagine the head is very, very small. I'm going to undo this movement. And think about this movement afterwards when my head is scale or even leave it as it is because it really doesn't matter it don't have to be perfect especially because the surface always isn't perfect and you can see here it's approximately in the center so that's fine two movements are done and it's not stored because it's not necessary the next thing we can do is scaling and you did see that this must be really really small and what I did before, of course, I have measured my original head. The distance between my eyebrow and this position is approximately 15 centimeters. And I'm going to measure it in here as well. And of course, I'm going to use point on face, therefore. Now you can see it's 0.15. So we need a scale factor of a approximately 1000 it don't have to be perfect because we are going afterwards to replace this head by a women's head for example and the mask will update automatically i'm just going to cancel this and create my scale 
And this one cannot be related to a non-conversion body. So if you don't have the latest version or if you don't have conversion available, you should use the transform function, which I've showed before. That's my body. And it's hard to pick the point, it's somewhere here. So I have to fit this first of all. The reason is the scale factor is really high right now, but it's approximately where it should be. The point is automatically your center, so you don't have to redefine it. You can leave it as it is, and I'm going to use 1050, something like that. You could, of course, write a formula by using the measurement, and you could do the measurement associative as well when it's related to conversion body. I'm just going to fit and take another measurement from this point to that one. And that's approximately where it should be, maybe just a little bit smaller. But as I said before, corrections can be done afterwards. I am usually not doing it perfect at the beginning because I want it to be stable. I want to focus on stability. And when it's stable, it's so easy to do corrections without mistakes. The last thing I'm going to do before this video will end is I'm going to create an extract. And even extraction is possible concerning convergent bodies or any other kind of imported format which is listed here. And this one is associative and fixed current timestamp. That's okay. And here it is. So everything I am going to create in the next videos will be related to my extract body and not my conversion body. Why? Because if you, for example, replace this STL head or OBJ head by a step file or a file which you've imported from Solid Edge, however, not everything can be replaced, but you can create an extract body from it and the extract body can be replaced. That's why I'm doing this tiny, tiny step. And I've seen this a lot in the automotive design branch where their struck faces imported and first of all extracted because the file format might be different. And this is a little trick to avoid problems afterwards when replacing it. I hope you learned something. I hope you're satisfied with what you've learned and we will continue this series soon so i will upload further videos concerning this topic if you haven't subscribed yet do it to be informed automatically and also hit the bell button to really get an information when there is new content available we are uploading tons of videos a week and hope to see you soon goodbye